Adrian Newey has officially joined Aston Martin in a blockbuster deal that would see him become one of the most influential people in the Silverstone-based squad. However, this has a much bigger impact on the wider scheme of things than we could originally anticipate. For example, Newey's influence in Aston Martin will be much bigger than what we believed he would agree to, which was a bit of a sit-back and relaxed role. But now that the salary and the position of Newey have been officially revealed, teams like Red Bull and drivers like Lance Stroll should be extremely worried about where this is slowly but surely leading. Can Newey's move change the landscape of not just Aston Martin, but Formula One in general? To the surprise of many, Newey has decided to join Aston Martin in a blockbuster deal that will see him earn over $200 million over five years. The money was definitely not the factor, though, that motivated the 65-year-old Brit to this move. The state-of-the-art facilities that Lawrence has invested in the last couple of years in Silverstone have brought the attention of Newey to the point of both of these two having a walk through the facilities as Newey was convinced that the silverstone Bay squad has what it takes takes in order to win championships in the future. Of course, the arrival of Cowell and Cardiel from Mercedes and Ferrari did pay its own dividends to Newey's decision, but there is much more behind this story than we could have originally imagined, and it revolves around Lawrence Stroll getting rid of his own son just so that he could achieve the dream of having a championship-winning car in his hands. Elaborating on the decision to join Aston Martin and work alongside the two-time world champion Alonso, Newey said, I am thrilled to be joining the Aston Martin Formula One team. I've been hugely inspired and impressed by the passion and commitment that Lawrence brings to everything he is involved with. Together with great partners like Honda and Aramco, they have all the key pieces of infrastructure needed to make Aston Martin a world championship winning team. And I'm very much looking forward to helping reach that goal. Me and Alonso battled against each other for so many years. He's been a bit of an arch enemy at times. We came so close to him joining Red Bull in 2008 for the 2009 season but unfortunately it didn't quite happen what a shame so we continued to battle against each other he is a legend of the sport and I'm very much looking forward to working with him This is exactly the first massive change that Newey is bringing to Aston Martin, his desire to work with prominent people in the sport, whether they are engineers or drivers. Of course, he would be very happy to reconnect with Dan Fallows too, the man who used to be the chief of aerodynamics in Red Bull a couple of years ago before he joined Aston Martin as their technical director. But the holy trio of Newey, Cowell and Cardiel will be looking forward to optimising every single ounce of performance out of the car and that's only possible with two very good drivers on the team. It's safe to say that Alonso is one of the greatest choices of drivers you could possibly have for this role but when it comes to Lance we have our own reservations about the ability of the young Canadian driver. The son of course of the owner of Aston Martin when it comes to extracting the maximum out of the car. Yes he does have his own talents and Newey himself said that he has known Lance since his F3 days when he his son Harry was also racing and at that time Lance was a force to be reckoned with but this is a big boy league and there is no place for weaklings which Lance is slowly but surely turning into. Obviously being in the comfort zone of having your father own the team you are racing for is not what Newey will settle for now that he's a big shareholder of the team as well. This is pretty big news because according to Lawrence Stroll this has been the biggest signing for the team ever since they entered the sport throwing a small small bit of shade to drivers like Vettel and Alonso who were and are still part of the project under his command. Nevertheless it just goes to show how much Lawrence has gone out of the way to sign Adrian and how much trust he's put in the Brit to bring the team to the top step of the podium and as a sign of trust Lawrence decided to make Newey an official shareholder of the team. This will turn out to be a massive move for both sides because the influence of Adrian will stretch far wider than the other engineers in his position on other 
teams, mostly because Nui will definitely have a say when it comes to which direction the team should be moving towards with some other internal issues like the driver's lineup. The official position that Nui will have in the team is managing technical partner, which is more or less overlooking all of the technical operations that are taking place in Silverstone. Again, this was one of the primary reasons why Newey didn't want to negotiate a deal with Ferrari because obviously the Marinello team weren't ready to give up even half of what Aston Martin did in order to secure the services of the 65-year-old. However, many seem to not pay enough attention to the fact that Newey will become a shareholder in the team, which means that his influence might go beyond the technical problems of Aston Martin. For example, we could compare the stakes that he will have in the team to the ones that Lawrence has sold to companies like Arctos and even though they might be in a much smaller number the fact that Newey has a direct impact on the car's behaviour and development means that he will have a greater say as to what goes on where and who ends up where. Lawrence Stroll didn't save any words when describing the greatness of Adrian Newey and when talking about this very exciting move the Canadian billionaire said Adrian is the best in the world at what he does. He is at the top of his game and I am incredibly proud that he is joining the Aston Martin Formula One team. It's another demonstration of our ambition to build a Formula One team capable of fighting for world championships. As soon as Adrian became available, we knew we had to make it happen. When Adrian saw what we have built at Silverstone, our incredible AMR technology campus, the talented group of people we have assembled, the latest wind tunnel in the sport, he quickly understood what we are trying to achieve. If you are Adrian Newey, one of the most successful engineers in the history of the sport, and you end up in a team in which the second driver is the son of the owner who crashes the car quite often and doesn't respond too well to feedback, then it's safe to assume that you would have your say in that scenario, right? Well, Newey didn't really accept an entire challenge to make Aston Martin a team to be reckoned with while having Lance on board. And whether we like it or not, the Canadian driver doesn't really fit in the great picture of Aston Martin being a championship winning squad. This is why Newey might have a talk or two with a driver of maybe Verstappen's calibre who has his own share of struggles with Red Bull as we speak due to the problems that the Austrian team has met with the RB20's development. So, being a shareholder in Aston Martin will definitely come with its own advantage because not even Honda, the exclusive partners of Aston Martin from 2026 onwards, has received an offer like this. Of course, the influence of Newey might be way too wide than the one of Honda, but nevertheless, he'll be a very integral part of Aston Martin's path in the following period. And his decisions could go way beyond controlling the aerodynamics of the car as well as the engineering structures inside the team. Even though 2026 will be a lot more about the power of the engines and the batteries rather than the aerodynamics of the car, certain elements like the active aero and the lack of DRS will require the best of the best to work on a concept that would enable them to extract the maximum out of this sector of the car as well. And what better man to have in your camp than Newey? With all this in mind, do you think that Adrian has been the missing piece to Aston Martin's puzzle and even more importantly do you think that he has what it takes to turn the tide around and to win championships in the fourth team in his career after Williams, McLaren and Red Bull? How's this going to shape up? Let us know in the comments below.